Hey guys, welcome back to I Enigma Scorpio. This is Enigma and we're going to do your April reads. Let's see the messages for you. What's coming up in the coming month? This is going to be a general reading. So take what resonates and leave what does not resonate. For more personals, reach out on WhatsApp, Instagram and email. Details are mentioned down below. Also do white private spells for your highest good. And do check out on my Instagram free horoscopes for all the signs are known rising Venus sign or Mercury. And check out more stuff on my Instagram. So stay connected with me over there. And don't forget to subscribe to this channel for more videos on your sign. As well as my main channel that is Ionic. I'm coming up with Scorpio Reader over there. As well as my Hindi channel which is Ionic Hindi. Rest of the details are given down below. Also do energized crystals charging. Which is uh, curated by me as well with healing energies of love. So if you want a crystal from me, you can reach out to me. We provide pure, high-quality crystals. Okay, let's see the messages for you. Scorpio. All right. What are the messages? Chemistry. Keep an open mind for yourself. Give your relationship a chance. Retreat. Mm -hmm. Finances and career. Okay. Someone from the past is trying to reconcile or you are trying to make this happen. So the message for you is right now to disconnect from you, from this person, from the past person. And focus more of your energy into your money, into your career, into your work, whatever it is. I feel like once you free yourself from this energy and leave it to the universe, you will have an opportunity coming in that will break the ice. There's going to be someone coming towards you and this is a completely new person with whom you will have a strong physical chemistry with. Okay. And you will be thinking of giving them a chance. But there is something that's controlling you or stopping. You feel like this person is not worth your league. Or this person is way too old or young. Or you may have other reasons for rejecting this person. But I feel like if you give them one chance, you might have a different thought process regarding that. Around this person. Okay. So the message for you is to just be open to receive. Not be too judgmental right on the spot. All right. We have the four of swords. We have the knight. I was getting this as well in the all sign read that I've just done for Scorpios in Ayanigma. That is an important read. I will provide you the link below of all signs. Do check it out. And then we have the two of pentacles. Right now you're passionately moving towards um, growth. I feel like you want to have a name or grow in your career field, like you want to have a good impact on the people, you want to help and you want to bring out the best qualities of you and show it to the world who you are. Right now, I feel like take some rest. That is something very, very important right now. Scorpio, you're overindulging into material things or expecting too much and working too hard but not resting enough or not taking time out or not going out on a vacation. So that's a message where you might need to just a little bit like time and again go out and have some fun, take a break and then come back. I feel like uh, over obsession, over obsession may lead to exhaustion. When you're overtly obsession, obsessing over work, over money, it might lead to exhaustion. Or if you're overtly sleeping, then also it will suffocate you and stress you out and make you feel depressed. So here the message for you is in short to keep your life in balance as much as you can. Like you can write down like what your schedule you want to be, you want to keep and then how you can follow that schedule. And then I feel like are you overthinking about future? You're overthinking about a lot of things not working out for you or you want things to happen fast but they're not happening. So there is a lot that you're overthinking about. I feel like now you can see this is a fence and you're jumping on the other side. Like you can see the grass is on the other side. So you're green on the other side. So you're jumping off the fence and you started to change your mindset and see things. And with that, I'm seeing more opportunities Career opportunities are opening up for you. The Knight of Sword energy. Six of Wands. 
someone is taking advantage of your kindness i feel be a really careful person here scorpio be really careful about your self respect and dignity and energy someone is taking advantage of you and this could be an older female if not there could be anyone and a younger boy but i feel there is someone that is taking advantage of you by messing up with your mind and you will be like okay fine and then you realize that this person is backstab you be careful about someone like that okay so in the month of uh, april there will be certain challenges okay and you may not know from where these challenges are coming but they're coming and you're like okay when these challenges come you don't know how to face them you don't know how to clear those roadblocks the message for you from the angels is that you're way beyond these people creating problems for you you have nothing to do with their business they have nothing to do with their with your business but i feel like they're still taking interest and what you can do is just simply avoid them ignore them and not at all react if you really want to go past these challenges that might come into into future out of nowhere especially if you do a lot for others and it might come to you in the form of negative response all you can do is just stay high vibrational by not responding and ignoring the situation and still keeping your head high and moving along towards your uh goal that's how you will become abundant i feel like right now you're healing a lot and you're feeling much more at peace and stable and calm unlike before there's a strong sense of me in the month of april where you think that you have your own place you have your stand and that is enough to scare people off if someone is intending to mess with you some of you is in aquarius or sagittarius interested okay so here we go that is a lady here that has been coming earlier as well libra gemini aquarius watching you thinking 24/7 about you trying to get to know what's going on with you in your life this person can see you growing at can see you traveling a lot i feel like you're traveling a lot you're going out a lot you're you're showing your lot of happiness you're like laughing out loud and this person when they see you they're like getting jealous i feel like they are someone that always you know always living in thorns and negative thinking and i feel that person you have to really really push that person away and close the chapter with that person but this person will keep on looking at you and staring at you and wondering what's going on with you Yeah, I feel like you've started to not give importance to them, and you might travel somewhere, or you might go towards like a work-related situation. You might travel somewhere, you might go somewhere, and that may lead you towards a new door opening up for you in terms of your career. You might get a bigger, better opportunity in work. Someone may recognize your potential really well, and you will be immediately hired. Or you might be given a major important project where your focus is going to be intact. and that will involve a lot of traveling or maybe overseas as well okay some sort of a promotion or a good news is coming after a long time of hard work and then we have the knight of pentacles scorpio the four of cups whoa what is this let me see let me see okay you're going to reject someone's proposal i'm seeing scorpio okay I feel like Scorpio you're too stubborn these days it's because your major attention is towards you yourself self love money career there's someone that is like a little hesitant or intimidated to approach you maybe they're not in your league they're not of your standards but it's good that there are people that are paying attention towards you they are good in their own terms but you have surpassed that level and you are like okay you're pushing them away you're saying no okay bye but there is someone that feels deeply rejected here okay so you're going to be extremely discerning about people about things and you will make the right decisions so some of you is a libra coming in i'm feeling like whoever is trying to talk to you you're just completely ignoring those people if they have nothing to do with you for your good which is a good thing Scorpio, April, please. All right. Oh, you're walking away from the past energies. You're walking away from little things, little, little output, little goals, or little like anything that's little. 
and does not suffice you. You're walking away because it's not satisfying you. You might be going to another place to get a work or you might be telling the boss that, hey, this is not my position. I deserve something better and you may get it. Some of you are leaving a past toxic energy lover behind that's trying to talk to you, come back to you because the bottom of the deck was saying reconciliation. I feel like you're bringing yourself into power, into action these days. And you might be going for a higher study. Some of you are definitely growing in your money a money related situation i feel you're working hard day in and day out and your focus is intact there's a sense of stability and prosperity in your life and you might get some sort of a permanent job offer or a government job offer or if it's a business i'm seeing you rising going a notch up and that notch up is going to turn things around beautifully for you when it comes to having a luxurious lifestyle okay but we have Page of Swords, Knight of Cups, there you go, there's your love life. Okay, someone new, a Scorpio, Pisces or a Cancer, is going to or is already stalking you hard. Okay, you are being stalked. This person is coming with love in their eyes. Emotions, with a lot of emotions and a lot of hope that you will accept their offer. Now, I don't know, I'm a little suspicious about you Scorpio because you have high standards but this person just wants love and that's it they're very loving and kind but I feel like this person has been watching you observing you now they want to come towards you this could be an overseas connection this could be a long distance for some of you they might see you in a public uh, vacation place okay uh I feel like they have seen you somewhere and since then they've been like stalking your spine, like checking on your social media. Who are you? Like where do you live and what do you do? This person's trying to get all the information. Oh, this is your soulmate. There's a possibility. There's a possibility, guys. Some of you might meet your soulmate right above, uh, you know, right off the bat. I mean, so this is your soulmate. I feel like Queen of Cups and the King of Cups. Okay. Possible that you will take this offer oh my gosh i was i was doubting this yes queen of wands and the moon i feel like this person is already having someone else in their life when they approach you be careful you might be deceived but when they approach you They'd want to be with you. They'd want to settle down. Because they've never thought of settling down. But with you, they'd be like, this is the one. I feel they'll see you as their soulmate. Yeah. This person is coming out of the... I feel like they have a friends with benefit. Or some sort of a physical connection with someone from the past. That they want to get rid of. Because that person is clingy. And they don't love them. But that other person has been coming after them like anything. So they want to release them and come towards you with passion, with love. And you might not accept this offer because you think that this person is leaving someone. But who is this person leaving? That is also a question. Okay. All in all, I'm seeing a new beginning here, a solid foundation here. And I feel your life is expanding to another level. You're going a notch up in your life. And there's so much more to explore in your life that it is like a jump start. And now you cannot look back. There's a lot of happiness here. Solid founder. You might be traveling a lot. You may get more opportunities. You may get a better paying job as well. Okay. Oh my gosh. I just hate it when the cards fall off. So I feel like you're coming out of your comfort zone and traveling more will lead you towards more opportunities and doors opening up for you you're going to be the happiest person on earth trust me on that certain people you cannot trust okay i don't know whether this is the one that's coming towards you or this is the one that is coming back and forth back and forth you have to be good in discernment i feel like you're making a decision okay there's someone that's trying to get back i feel and you have made a decision to push them away because you cannot trust them or the one that is in love with you right now, you're not able to trust this person. But they've been like trying to get hold of you. This person thinks about you all day, all night. But you might put them in this 
situation where they have to confront this and tell you what exactly the truth is. So that situation may happen and they might not tell you. Okay. So that is why you are angry at them. I want you it was my fault and I blamed you I started to understand your connection I feel like this person definitely has someone and they want to get rid of that person but they were like initially they were confused and now they've been obsessively thinking about you and wanting to take this forward but you don't trust this person because you made a decision I feel like they might push you or force you to decide again okay this is someone new this is not an old person but I feel like their desperation for you is quite evident here. What is the love advice, please? Okay. Time to make demonstration. I feel like it's time for this person to prove you. And now they're going to be taking action to prove you exactly how they feel. Do something new or something different. Right now, I'm definitely not seeing you showing any kind of desperation. And this is making this person fall on their knees to tell you exactly how they feel. If you show desperation on anything, you might fail. So that might be a message for you that if you want someone to admit or say or do things for you, don't give your control to that person. Do something new or something different. I feel like right now it is important that you may jump out of your... You may need to come out of your comfort zone. Do something different because that will make you feel excited more about yourself and happy about yourself. You'll be happier. If you just stay in the same place, do the same old thing, you might get really, really bored and disturbed. gratitude for any any experience you will have try to show as much thankful or gratitude to people to god to the universe okay when you show thanks or when you show that you're grateful and you're thankful and you pay gratitude to people it always comes back to you in the nicest positive form so right now I feel like it's time for you to say thanks to everything that's coming forward for you. Oh, you're about to attract a twin flame, I feel. And this person will be extremely passionate. But that is why they're leaving someone behind because the kind of connection they felt with you is something that's out of the world and they want to make you believe. And I feel like initially you will be like pushing this person away. So don't rush into things. One message for you is that's really important is when someone is not interested, they're not interested. Accept it. Number two, if someone is interested, don't rush into things. Like show, don't show them desperation in case, okay? Because that will only going to backfire. Take it easy, take it slow. Give it like at least three months of time. Okay, there you go. Stag. This person could be a Sagittarius or any fire sign. I feel like right now it's time for you to become passionate about your life purpose because that way you'll never feel alone, lonely, sad, depressed or waiting on anyone. When you are busy, when you know what you want to do, when you know your purpose, you will be always in control. And I feel like this person likes that quality of you, that you thrive, you have passion. Scorpios are intensely passionate sign. So put your passion into your work instead and yourself instead of anyone. I feel your person loves that and they are also coming from that energy that they love passion, they're passionate, they're thriving for their success and they want trust. And I feel with you, you can trust this person and they can trust you. Any other messages? There you go. You're so blessed. You're so lucky. Okay. It's time for you to take some time out and breather and relax and do some other activities that keep you healed, meditated, calm, you know, take a vacation because you're blessed. And right now, universe wants to pamper you. 
and give you opportunities to relax. What else? Forgiveness. Scorpio. You're letting go of the past fully. I feel like in the month of April, you will be forgiving someone from the past trying to come back fully. And that is the end point. That is where your final closure will come. So there's some sort of a major closure coming in, which is going to make you feel abundant and happy and back in power. Okay, so that was your read, Scorpio. I hope you've enjoyed this read. Do not forget to like the video and subscribe. Do comment down below and subscribe to my main channel, I Enigma, as well as my Hindi channel and this channel. I'll see you again. Bye.